Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I am from eWrench.com. This demonstrates about installing and running a Finch robot based on the Alice 2.2 software development environment. The Finch robot includes light temperature and optical sensors along with an accelerometer. To mitigate against needing a battery, the Finch comes with a 15-foot USB connector. It also includes a ton of different software interfaces including C, C++, Java, and Python. Dreamfinch, which follows, is based on the Alice 2.2 software learning environment. Outcomes here for this video, you should be able to download Finch Dreams, install Finch Dreams on a Windows USB stick to allow for operation on different computers. This will work on XP Vista and Windows 7. And verify the installation by running the Finch Controls program. Uh, requirements, Windows operating system, USB 2.0 or higher, two USB flash drives, familiarity with Alice 2.2 and a Finch robot. Additional info include Finch Dreams tutorial page uh, at www.finchrobot.com and then of course the Alice site www.alice.org. To download Finch Dreams, go to the Finch Dreams download page which is at www.finchrobot.com downloads. You'll notice that all there, besides the Finch Dreams which is based on Alice, there's all other kinds of software that you can download to work with the uh, Finch Robot, Java, Greenfoot which is a Java based package, Python, Jython, well it's actually a Jython package, Processing, Scala, C or C++ and here is Finch Dreams. So let's download it for a Windows and we're going to save the file. Click OK and I always have a habit of uh, having a separate downloads directory on the C drive and I'm going to create a new folder and name it Finch Dreams. Open and we'll just save it. And this uh, download takes about five to ten minutes and we'll come back when it's uh, uh, downloaded. Once the file is downloaded, then we can simply just clear the list here, close it, and go to Finch Dreams. It's an easy manner to install. Basically, this is a zip file. Simply right click on Extract All and send the extracted items to your uh, USB drive. In this case, it's a removal disk. We'll just click OK. We don't have to make a separate folder for Finch Dreams because it will do that by itself. Now you'll notice that here on the removal disk we've got App Inventor and everything else, but it'll make its own folder for Finch Dreams. And simply click OK and then click Extract. Now because I'm using a uh, virtual machine here, uh, this may take up to an hour to uh, extract and fully install. There's 441 megabytes uh, works faster uh, on a regular machine but not that much faster uh, anywhere from 20 minutes to uh, to an hour uh, of course come back later when it's uh, fully installed and we'll take it from there okay here we have Finch Dreams installed uh, and here's the exe file Finch Dreams and your required uh, software or rest of the software. Uh, before we go on, what we're going to do is connect the uh, Finch robot to a laptop and then demonstrate, uh, give a demonstration of uh, how it's working. The Finch robot does not come with a battery. Instead, it has a 15 foot USB cord that attaches to the computer. One end, of course, goes into your USB port, the other end into the top of the Finch robot. 
Of course, what you have to do is make sure that you attach it in the correct manner. Once we have uh, Finch Dreams installed on a USB drive, it's a simple matter of going ahead and starting it. Now, you'll notice here on this computer we have local disk and removable disk. There is no connection to the Finch robot, but it is there. So I don't know exactly what the situation is, but there is, it is attached to this computer. So let's click on removable disk, click on Finch Dreams, and then do the to the French, I'm sorry, to the Finch Dreams EXE file. Double click on that or single click however your computer is set up. Now one thing I found out, it takes a few minutes for this Finch Dreams to come up. Uh, three, four, five minutes at times. And uh, this computer here, I think it's got one and a half, uh, it's actually a virtual machine, one and a half gigabyte of memory, so uh, I don't think it's so much a matter of memory, it just takes a while to load it off the USB drive. So if it takes a little too long, we'll come back. So once we're up here, this is your typical Alice setup, you know, where you can add objects. Uh, this is your welcome. You've got your typical Alice 2.2 tutorials. Well, we go into examples, and the one we're going to use right here is the Finch Control. And click on it, open it up. And uh, basically, it's going to say some things. And uh, basically, uh, when you up arrow is type, move straight forward, down arrow is typed to move straight backward, uh, some basically back and forth items. So here's our Finch robot and I'm going to click on play and it says I'm just here for a show basically it's not going to move on this screen. So to try up down left arrows to move Finch X to stop Finch and RGB to light the LED different colors. So I'll type in R that should give you uh, red G, green, B, blue, and go forward, stop, backward, stop, left, stop, and right, stop. So that's our Finch robot and away it goes. And that's pretty much it. I've, I've shut it down here. I don't know if it's come off the screen yet or not. So thank you.